said you were thinking about writing a book or you're going to write a psychedelic inspired book, right? Absolutely, yeah. What's it, you, 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 what's it going to be called? How Psychedelics Saved My Life. Tell me how they saved your life, man. Well, I think, again, the rabbit hole. Yes. Right? I started reading a lot of, a lot of literature about um, just dosing, what different doses could do for you. And it just all depends on the effect that you want. You know what I mean? So um, I, I started microdosing in the middle of the wild shit that was going on in of my course, head. Of course, of course. I started microdosing. And I'm not going to say like, oh, it was like this magical fucking just wake up and everything is, you know, chipper. Right, 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 you know right. I mean? It was like slowly over time, like I started to gain a little more clarity and, uh, you know, it just it just kind of helped me find not even like a happiness, but it just helped me find like like the like the beauty in a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Like I'd go outside and be like, damn, that's a that's a fucking beautiful flower. You know, what right, I mean? like right. Where I would have never stopped before. You know, so I just I don't know. It just and I was microdosing, so it wasn't like making me like hallucinate trip or balls nothing. or nothing. You were yeah. That. It was just like um, kind of just uplifting my days. You know, when it was going on, and I think um, you know from there. That was like LSD microdosing in, in water. And then now I do shroom tea most of the time. Yeah, see, I've never done the shroom tea. Yeah. So how much will you put in the tea? Like, because... It depends, really. Like Depends like, on what kind of day you're trying to... Yeah, like I like a light vibe. Like I might put a half a quarter okay. to the whole pot, which is like, you know, six, probably six tea bags. Right. You know right. I mean? And um, that right there, like... If you want to get fucked up, you still can. If you drink you know, all of it, more than a few glasses, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you, you'll definitely get fucked up. But I just sip it slow. I'll be in the studio working, creating shit, and I sip it slow. And it's just, it's like a, it's like a different type of vibe, man. It's just, it's like, a, like it helps my brain in different types of ways. So when you say hey, psychedelics help save your life, do you would you say? Because I, I, for people who don't know, I think a lot of people don't understand, like the therapeutic benefits of of shrooms and even MDMA, you know what I'm saying, in, in certain instances. But but is that would you consider, like, your experience with psychedelics to be therapeutic? Absolutely. It didn't used to be. Right. It used to be more probably recreational, it right? It didn't used to be. Yeah, it was, it was recreational. And it's like I was sitting in between where, like, the, the, the positive effects would be. Hero dose, which is all, all. I mean, all. You know, yeah, it's gonna make you discover yourself. And then there's the microdose, which is you know for your mental health, and, right? You know, just just like again, yeah. Like if I you microdose, you can have a productive day. You can go to work. You can you know yeah, do you all can that. Probably shit. have a more productive day. Yes, that's. I think that's why yeah. people do it. Yeah. yeah. So you haven't done the hero dose yet, because hmm. I remember we talked and you were saying that you you want to do it, but but you're not ready yet. Yeah, I just gotta get. I, you know, I'm still like coming out the dark space i want to be fully out before because that's something like that. that's something that's like serious oh yeah no that's that's man it's for me look shrooms never really sat well with me uh when i was younger like when, when we were taking shrooms recreationally like i i used to bad trip like all the time wow you know what i mean like and i don't want to say like bad trip is so you know overused but like, right, right i mean just like you know that uncomfortable kind of dark feeling where yeah. shit turns into a fucking a Burton movie. You know what For I mean? For sure. Like that's, that's how a lot of my trips started to feel like, you know? So I think shrooms, my, my love for shrooms came back when I started microdosing shrooms and making tea and stuff like that. Cause I was like, okay, this is the dose that my body appreciates. Right? Mm. This is what my, this is exactly what I like. You know what I mean? And it's, it's been, like I said, man, it's been therapeutic, life changing. since then. Have you dabbled in uh in DMT yet? No. It's very uh, crackheadish. I mean, you literally smoke it out of a crack pipe. So, just be if you ever decide to do that, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm definitely not. Um, you're gonna smoking anything out of a crack pipe. Honestly. You're gonna disappear for 15 minutes. Just you're gone. <laughs> yeah, I've heard. I mean, a, a lot of my friends have done it, you know, and and, and stuff like that. But that again, shit, and then the, the other shit is the ayahuasca, which is like a tea. But that you you got to do with a shaman. Yeah, yeah. Go to Costa Rica, you know. Yeah, I mean, you could that. do it in Orange County, you know what I mean. <laughs> but 
<laughs> yeah, send me the address. I'm gonna go. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, that's that's dope, man. I think I think like uh, Money Man just tweeted this the other day. He was like, "We're not doing uh, pills no more, only shrooms." He was like the first rapper in that kind of space that I saw kind of say that. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, yo, a lot of these kids are so fucking, you know, perked out, fentanyl, and all this shit. And it's like, man, I think I think shrooms is got to be the next wave, bro. Man, that uh, shit is. I, all them pills and all them opioids and all that, that shit is so garbage, man. Yeah. It's so garbage. Man. It's just dangerous. It's, I feel like you're gambling with your life every time you do it because you don't yeah, know what bro. the fuck you're getting. It's it's like, it's a, it's a sad thing to see, bro, for real, because, you know, man, you're, only, you're only here one time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It just takes one bad it's pill like, yeah, to take like, you off the map. You're only here once, man. 